lawyers face scary new reality with robot lawyers in court. For the first time since robots and AI were brought to existence, a robot lawyer will be ready to defend a client against a speeding ticket in court. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Fast Forward. In today's episode, we are going to tell you about the robot lawyers defending humans in court for the first time. Let's dig in. Do Not Pay is a company that uses AI technology to help users fight parking tickets, file small claims, and cancel subscriptions. But now, it has developed an AI-powered robot lawyer to assist with legal cases. In February, this artificial intelligence, or AI, will defend its human client during a whole court. Most likely, this will be the first time that a client has ever been represented in a court by an AI. A report says that the AI would be on a smartphone and listen to what is going on in the courtroom before telling the defendant through an earpiece what to say. At this time, neither the location of the court nor the name of the person on trial are being made public. Joshua Browder, the founder of Do Not Pay, said that if the AI loses the case, the company is ready to pay any fines. The company that calls itself the world's first robot lawyer says that people will be able to fight businesses, beat bureaucracy, and sue anyone at the touch of a button. He also said, it's all about words, and that's why lawyers charge hundreds of thousands of dollars an hour to do it. One legal expert said, there will still be a lot of good lawyers out there who may be fighting in the European Court of Human Rights. But a lot of lawyers are just charging way too much money to copy and paste documents, and I think they will definitely be replaced, and they should be replaced. As a legal assistant, the AI first asks the client what kind of legal problem they are having. Then, it looks for a possible loophole and writes a legal letter, which it sends to the right institution or puts on a website. In a video, Browder talked about how he came up with the idea. He said that he started getting parking tickets that he couldn't pay because he didn't have enough money. During the process, he became what can only be called an expert on legal loopholes that would let him to get out of paying the fine. Browder, who is a software engineer, decided that the time-consuming and expensive process of fighting parking tickets could be done automatically. Because of this, he made a website to help other people to do the same. Browder says that the goal of this company is to give customers free access to the $200 billion legal field. During the previous month, Chatbot successfully negotiated with Comcast representatives to lower the employee's annual internet cost by $120. Do Not Pay is a legal technology company that offers an AI-powered chatbot to help users fight and appeal parking tickets, as well as providing access to other legal services, such as filing small claims and canceling subscriptions. It was founded in 2015 by Joshua Browder and has since expanded to offer services in over 3,000 cities in the United States and the United Kingdom. The company aims to make legal services more accessible to the general public by automating and simplifying the process. His long-term goal is to make his app take the place of lawyers so that defendants will no longer need to hire them. Joshua Browder, the founder of Do Not Pay, has stated in interviews that he became interested in using AI technology to help with legal issues because he saw that many people, particularly those with limited resources, were struggling to navigate the legal system. He believed that an AI chatbot could provide a more efficient and accessible way for people to understand and exercise their legal rights. Additionally, Joshua is a computer science major from Stanford, and his education and background in AI technology would have helped him to develop a platform like Do Not Pay. He has also expressed his interest in other areas of AI and its potential to change the world. He also calls himself the Robin Hood of the Internet. Other companies and organizations have also begun to explore the use of AI in the legal field, including in areas such as contract review, legal research, and even representing clients in court. Some examples include LawGeeks, which is an AI-powered legal technology company that automates contract review. The company's AI platform uses natural language processing to analyze contracts and identify potential risks and compliance issues. The platform can also provide suggestions for how to improve or modify the contract. LawGeeks aims to help businesses to save time and money by automating the contract review process, which can be time-consuming and costly when done manually. They also provide the service to legal departments of companies and law firms to assist their lawyers in the contract review process. Additionally, LawGeeks has developed a product called LawGeeks Compare, which allows legal professionals to compare contracts side by side and identify similarities, differences, and potential issues. LawGeeks is a direct competitor to Do Not Pay as both companies use AI to automate legal tasks. But LawGeeks focuses specifically on contract review, while Do Not Pay offers a broader range of services such as fighting parking tickets and filing small claims. Another one is Cura Systems, an AI-powered legal technology company that provides a platform for extracting information from contracts and other legal documents. Their platform uses machine learning to identify and extract relevant information from legal documents, such as key clauses, dates, and parties involved. This can help lawyers and legal professionals to quickly and easily find the information they need in a document, saving them time and effort. 
Kira's platform also includes a feature called Clause Identification, which allows users to quickly identify specific clauses within a contract, such as indemnification or termination clauses. The platform can also be integrated with other legal tools like e-discovery platforms, contract management systems, and document management systems. Kira Systems is also a direct competitor to LawGeeks and Do Not Pay, as they all use AI to automate legal tasks, but Kira Systems focuses specifically on extracting information from legal documents, while LawGeeks focuses on contract review and Do Not Pay offers a broader range of services, such as fighting parking tickets and filing small claims. The next among many is Ross Intelligence, an AI-powered legal technology company that provides a legal research platform. It uses Natural Language Processing, or NLP, to understand and answer legal questions. Ross is built on top of IBM Watson and allows lawyers and legal professionals to ask complex legal questions in natural language and get relevant and accurate answers in seconds. It also includes a feature called Ross Discovery, which allows users to quickly identify and extract important information from a large corpus of documents, such as contracts, statutes, and case law. This can help lawyers and legal professionals to save time and effort when researching legal issues and building a case. Ross Intelligence competes with companies such as LawGeeks, Cura Systems, and Do Not Pay, as they all use AI to automate legal tasks. But Ross Intelligence focuses specifically on legal research, while LawGeeks focuses on contract review. Cura System focuses on extracting information from legal documents, and Do Not Pay offers a broader range of services such as fighting parking tickets and filing small claims. These are some of the few examples of companies that are currently competing with Do Not Pay in the field of AI-assisted legal services. If AI technology continues to advance, it is possible that it could assist lawyers and legal professionals in many tasks, such as document review and legal research. However, it is unlikely that AI would be able to fully replace human lawyers, as there are certain aspects of the legal profession that require human judgment and expertise. For example, AI may be able to analyze a large amount of legal data and identify relevant information, but it would still require a human lawyer to interpret and apply that information to a specific case. Similarly, AI may be able to generate legal documents, but it would still require a human lawyer to review and ensure that they are accurate and legally compliant. Additionally, the legal profession is heavily regulated and requires a level of accountability and ethics that may be difficult for AI to fully replicate. The ability to give advice and make ethical judgments are still the domain of human lawyers. AI can assist but not replace these tasks. It's more likely that AI will augment the work of lawyers, making them more efficient and effective, rather than replacing them entirely. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. And if you have any views regarding this video, tell us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.